sister location. This looks interesting. I've seen the trailers for it. And, huh. Somehow these are worse than the original animatronics. That's, that's just my feeling on it. Uh, and like, also, I'm a little bit anticipatory because I heard from a friend that Scott Cawthon apparently didn't want to release this because it was darker than he intended and it was making him uncomfortable. <laughs> I, I don't know if that's like really, really true or whatever, but because if it's worse than the earlier FNAF games, I really hate to hmm, see the depths of the depravity that are going to be experienced in this, so whatever, let's get it on, <laughs> shall we? I'm actually really surprised that he made a f like another FNAF, considering uh, all the messages and everything that were in the uh, FNAF world. Welcome to the first day of your exciting new career. Whether you were approached at a job fair, read our ah. ad in screws, bolts, and hairpins, or Graphics if this is the different. result of a dare, we welcome you. I will be your personal guide to help you get started. Uh -huh. I'm a Model 5 of the Handyman's Robotics and Unit Repair System, but you can call me Hand Unit. Your new career <laughs> promises handyman. challenge, intrigue, and endless janitorial opportunities. Please enter your name as seen above the keypad. Oh, well, this is this cannot be changed later, so please be careful. Please be careful, and it's ba bouncing all around like this. Oh, jeez. Can you maybe not? Um, this makes it incredibly difficult. Where's the K? I need I need K's. I know that's R T C. Ah, K is there. Okay. Oh, you're not even letting me see what it is. Okay. Uh. No. Sweetie, no. I when I hit delete, I meant go back. You know what? You know what? You know what? Actually, actually, I think you're just it doing that, that to screw with us, with so never mind. I see what you were trying to type, and I will auto-correct it for you. One moment. Did you Welcome, really? Eggs Benedict. I'm Benedict Cumberbatch! Oh, that's lovely! Okay, if, if that's really... okay. Okay. So why are we in the fantastic, fun, fanciful, free Willy Wonka elevator surprise? Uh. Night one. Oh dear. Okay. So what do I do? I see I have buttons. You can now open the elevator using that bright, red, and obvious button. What? Let's get to work. Oh. Am I wearing glasses? Is that why we have like the little smudgy smudges there when we put our head faces in the light? Um, okay. Oh, we... We can move forward. Interesting. Allow me to fill this somewhat frightening silence with some light-hearted banter. Why are we in the Due vent? To the massive success, and even more so the unfortunate closing of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, it was clear that the stage was set, no pun intended, for another contender in children's entertainment. Oh, you mean candies? Unlike most entertainment venues, our robotic entertainers are rented out for private parties during the day. And it's your job to get the robots back in proper working order before the following morning. You are now in the primary control module. It's actually a crawl space between the two front showrooms. Now, let's get started with your daily tasks. What? View the window what? to your left. This is the Ballora Gallery party room and dance studio, encouraging kids to get fit and enjoy pizza. Let's turn on the light and see if Ballora is on stage. Press the blue button on the elevated keypad to your left. Oh, that, there we go. I was about to say it's not, ooh, okay. Uh-oh, it looks like Ballora doesn't feel like dancing. Let's give her some motivation. Press the red button now to administer a controlled shock. Maybe that will put the spring back in her step. What, you regularly torture your mechanics? Your element, no wonder they want to kill people. Again. Poor Ballora, is she okay? Excellent. Ballora is feeling like her old self again and will be ready to perform again tomorrow. Now view the window to your right. This is the Funtime Auditorium, where Funtime Foxy encourages kids to play and share. Try the light. Let's see what Funtime Foxy is up to. 
Looks like Funtime Foxy is taking the day off. Let's motivate Funtime Foxy with a controlled shock. Well, that's, that's definitely torture, especially for a being whose entire body is made of electricity. Let's try another controlled shock. Looks like Funtime Foxy is in perfect working order. That's Great not job. even repairing. In front of you is another vent shaft. Crawl through it to reach the Circus Gallery control module. And why are we crawling through the vents? We're not in Overlast. I was about to say Bioshock. This is definitely not either of those. But what the f go faster with shift. Motion trigger. Circus Gallery vent. Motion trigger. Circus Gallery vent. It, what does that mean? Does that mean one of the, glass, mean the others got in the vent? Uh -huh. Let's check the light and see what baby is up to. Okay. No baby. Looks like no a few problem. of the lights are out, okay. but we can fix that later. Let's encourage baby to cheer up with a controlled shock. That's not cheering! That's not cheering at all! What is wrong with you people? Let's try another controlled shock. Let's try another controlled shock. Great job, Circus Baby. We Where knew we she? could count on you. I didn't see that her. That concludes your duties for your first night on the job. We don't want you to leave overwhelmed. Otherwise, you might not come back. What? Please leave using the vent behind you, and we'll see you again tomorrow. What are all the other controls? Huh. Oh. Uh, oh, S to go back. Okay. Well. Oh, God. What are, that, what are those sounds? Let's just go quickly. Motion trigger. Circus gallery vent. Yeah, I understand. Let's just leave, please. Shift complete. Okay. Night one down. The hell? Enjoy some time at home. Oh, no wonder Scott Cawthon thought this was dark. Holy hell. We have to torture the animatronics another to get day, them to work? Another dramatic entry in the lives of what is Vlad this? and his distressed mistress. Where will they go? What will what? they do? All of that and more happening now. Clara, I tell you, the baby isn't mine. I tell you, the baby isn't Count, mine. I tell what you is this, that it is. Italian? You're the only vampire I've ever loved. What? And the baby turns his bottles into powdered milk. Huh? That doesn't mean what? anything. He sleeps on the ceiling fan. Upright or upside down? What does it matter? You need to be part of your son's life. I'm an old man, Clara. I can't be a father. Well, then at least pay your child support, you deadbeat! Will Vlad what and his distressed this? mistress find common I mean, ground? it's kind of funny. Tune in next time. But also... What? And, like, I feel like there was some sort of thing in the static. I'm not sure. But... Daddy, you let the other children go see her. Why won't you let me go? Who is this child? Are you talking about Welcome back for another night of intellectual stimulation, pivotal career choices, and self-reflection on past mistakes. We're committed to creating a unique and fulfilling work experience. One part of that commitment is ensuring that you don't get tired of the voice that you're hearing right now. Using the keypad below, please select a new companion voice. Okay! Well, <laughs> it seems that you had some trouble with the keypad. No, nah, really. I see what you were trying to type, really? and I will auto-correct it for you. Do what? Thank you for choosing Angsty Teen. Okay, this is gonna be great. <laughs> angsty Teen. Okay, so Angsty Teen, what do you got for us, man? Oh, I don't like that sound. I don't like that sound at all. Unless it's like the wub wub wubs coming from the angsty teens, uh, beatbox or whatever. Uh, no. Hello? 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 Oh dear. Oh dear. Night two. I selected angsty teen, why am I alone? Give me my cursor back so we can start this ma magical mission. The elevator stopped. Oh. You know the routine. Get out now or whatever. Okay. Stay here if you want. I actually, I'm I'm pretty cool with like staying here and all. 
Uh, I think I'll just keep the series to ten minute episodes. Uh, like... I mean, why not? Uh, maybe the second night will be much more challenging, but, uh, I don't really want to step up that door. Not particularly. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one, so... Bye-bye! It's totally sensical, right? Right? Yeah! <laughs> Why did this all happen in the first place, though? Because some dumb shit decided to go ahead with a sensitive experiment with unknown materials after a complete systems failure that caused several computers to explode. I swear, there is so much failure among the managerial staff and the scientists who should have called bullshit on this situation. This could have all been avoided if people had followed proper protocols. I don't know, but you shouldn't do the test, especially when it puts my body on the line. Despite that rocky and somewhat predictable start,